From the killer whale to giant ants, there are a plethora of mods in development for Path of Titans that we can show off today, and a fair few of them are brand new. So without further ado, let's just dive into this exciting episode of mod news for Path of Titans. The Killer Whale, also known as the Orca, is a hotly anticipated mod being developed by the Divine Beast team and this is one that has definitely been heating up a little bit in its development recently with a whole swathe of brand new animations showcased by one of the animators who is Sad Ek. And these were these animations, we got to see the rest animation, the beached movement animation, the swimming animation, swimming up and swimming down. So we got to see a whole plethora here, but this did come with some sad news as well. It kind of was a little bit of a counterbalance to some sad news that we heard from the lead developer of this mod, who is Dr. The 11th, who said this. For everyone asking for updates, sadly I can't share anything at the moment. My PC died and at the moment I'm unsure how expensive it will be. When it rains, it pours type of thing. Rest assured I'll get back to it, but it may take some time before I'm able to. It is what it is. Unfortunately, that means Doc can't really share some progress on mods that he's working on. However, of course, there are other people on the team who can still showcase teasers of mods that they're working on, like the Orca and other ones like that. However, I'm not too sure how much this would affect the development of and release of mods as well that are being worked on by this team and other stuff like that. So unfortunately, we just know that Doc has lost his PC because it's died and we don't know how long it will take. It will probably affect things slightly, but we don't know to what extent. I mentioned Psittacosaurus and the Orca in a video last week which was talking about five mods that I expect to come to Path of Titans this year which kind of also didn't include five that I previously mentioned in another top five video but that being said I recommend you check out that video to see some other mods that I'm very excited for and well since then we've got a lot of news regarding Psittacosaurus and it's even progressed even more as a mod as well. Firstly we've got all these screenshots which I'm assuming have come from testers and it looks really nice. I love the skins and how it looks just in game. It looks perfect. It's a really, really gorgeous mod. We also get to see the baby model for the Psittacosaurus and it's absolutely adorable with its big beady eyes. And since I made that video previously, I said in the video it had 46 out of the 58 tasks completed. Well, now it's at 52. And the funny thing is it was at 52 when that video released. So I'd already finished editing it when it had gone to 52 so that was a pain and you know what would be funny if that happens again right now when this video goes up tomorrow and it's at like another number another big number maybe it's done by then however these are the tasks that are left in the development of Psittacosaurus skin painting emote one which is question marked emote two which is question marked as well scratch and groom emote and animation assets and icons so there's not much left to go for this mod it's likely already in testing but yeah that is that we literally have six tasks left before this mod is ready to go essentially but we also do have to talk about something that i mentioned briefly in my last video and that is it's going to have a burrowing ability which is very very exciting so regarding burrowing we do know some things you can burrow whenever during walking or running just as long as your stamina allows it there will be no abilities that will affect burrowing in any way there will be no burrow system and maximum burrow size will be 15 seconds so the length of time that you can be in a burrow is 15 seconds now i have heard that apparently when coming out of a burrow you do deal damage to a dinosaur and that's probably just because it has the same overlaying like effect as a charge so that might be the case there but I'm not entirely sure if it does damage or not so feel free to let me know in the comments or not Kells if you're watching this let me know but also this is a great ability it will be the first time we ever see an ability like this in the game which means obviously primordial tyrants they're pioneering this one we already have a giant spider in the form of Giga Arachne. Now we will see giant ants in the game as well. 
Introducing Formica Magna, which is a giant ant being introduced by the XR Gilla team, ready to defend the queen and hive. All we have so far is a glimpse of the model, but honestly, giant ants are going to be terrifying in the game as well. We also have some concept art for it, and it, as they've said, it's going to be an omnivorous creature, and looking at the art that we have, the concept art, it looks like it's going to be about the same size as Latin Venetrix, but it will also be able to focus on, and uh, looking at it, it looks like it might have a pounce ability as well, but it'll focus on teamwork and special buffs in the game as well. I do wonder, is anyone here scared of ants like people are scared of spiders? I'm very curious about that. But yeah, another creepy crawly enters the game. Enjoy this one while you can. Imperious Rex, also made by the XR Killer team, has entered and completed its rigging stage and now is awaiting animation stages. But from that, we got a plethora of screenshots which showcase the model detailed and textured. It looks amazing. But we also get to see one of the default skins, or the default skin, the first skin, and this is Cinderbank, a very, very nice skin, and it just completes this model even more. It fits massively. That being said, we know that this mod has a system mod called Avernus which is like Imperius but it's a Spinosaurus version this will be going through its rigging stage first before Imperius gets to its animation stage. So they're kind of working in tandem together. So the next mod out of this bunch that we'll likely see is Avernus, fully textured and rigged as well and in some poses, which will be really nice. However, this is a massive step for the Imperius mod. It looks really neat and I can't wait to see it rigged and animated properly. Well, animated properly, it's already rigged as well as Avernus as well. Very excited. A quick final mod to talk about, which is Nazuto Ceratops, which is another upcoming mod shown off by the XR Gilla team. This video is literally the XR Gilla team spotlight today. This is a new Ceratops scene for the game's roster, and if you don't know what Nazuto Ceratops is, Let's really quickly have a quick up to speed on this dinosaur. Discovered in Utah and described as the first centrosaurian ceratopsid from the Kaiparowitz formation in 2010, Nazuto Ceratops was officially formally described in 2013 by Samson and others. With a short snout and unique rounded horns above its eyes, it made it kind of resemble that of modern day cattle. Estimated to be around 4.5 meters long with a skull that is already 1.5 meters this is a relatively decently sized dinosaur. Ceratopsian It's not the biggest, but will likely sit in the same category as that of Styracosaurus and Albertoceratops. The Zootoceratops is also one of many other Ceratopsians from the Kaiparowitz formation because we also have Cosmoceratops and Utahceratops as well, making from that bunch. Exciting to see, so far we just have an untextured model, but it's nice to see another Ceratopsian coming to the game, and this is one I don't believe other mod developers are working on. With that being said, and everybody, that is all that we have for this video of mod news. Let me know of these ones, which one you are most excited for in the comments down below. And if you wanna check out my previous mod spotlight video, we talked about upcoming mods for 2024, my five top picks. And if you wanna see what they are, I recommend you check out that video. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day, peace.